The creator of Hamilton is out with an exuberant, bursting at the seams party in the street. This is a review of the new film, In the Heights. I am Usnavian, you probably never heard my name. Reports of my fame are greatly exaggerated. Morning, Usnavi. Pan caliente, cafe hey. con leche. On these blocks, you can't walk two steps without bumping into someone's big plan. Usnavi has a dream that lives far from his Washington Heights home. That's it? No story? All right, all right, everybody sit down, sit down. Yes! It's a story of a block that was disappearing. In un barrio called Washington Heights. The streets were made of music. Lin-Manuel Miranda's pandemic-delayed In the Heights finally makes its way to theaters, packed with genre-bending tunes and a huge, talented, and charismatic cast telling a story of community and belonging. Anthony Ramos stars along with Corey Hawkins, Leslie Grace, Alyssa Barrera, Daphne Rubin Vega, Lin Manuel himself, and Jimmy Smits, along with many more. John Chu directs and is able to make it feel as colorful as it looks, if that makes any sense. It really is visually stunning, and some of the scenes are so creative with the way they're put together. That said, and I may be alone in saying this, it was just too long. Creating that much music that works is a tough task, and it doesn't always work. So many times it felt like this big dramatic finale, and it wasn't. I'd also like to ditch the singing dialogue. But really, this is a film for everyone, and an excellent summer flick to bring a pandemic-weary public back to the theater. And for that, I give In the Heights three and a half stars out of five on the Rob rating scale. You can also check it out on HBO Max, but really, go to the theater. I'm Rob LaFrance, and I'll see you at the concession stand. In Washington Heights!